sometimes I get nervous that like, uh, you know, obviously anything could go wrong. You could, you know. Yeah. Like, Start yeah. squirting blood. <laughs> like it happened last time. Yeah. <laughs> well, last I time promised you there was going to be no blood. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> when last time we poked the ice pick through your arm. We hit a nerve, right? We had to back it out and do it. Oh, again. yeah, and it, it was, was not good. Inter yeah, and it bubbled up. Yeah, yeah, not good. Yeah, I was not. That's not what I wanted to happen. Yeah. I was traumatized afterwards. I was like, oh, f I'm fucked. You just pick. <laughs> so is that just a, a luck thing? Like you miss, or you just don't know exactly where to push it through? No. What happened was normally. I, I think I go in from this side and out, uh -huh. but because you were sitting here and I wanted you to push it, I think we went in the opposite direction. Oh. And I think it that's what went wrong. Oh, so you know where to do it normally. No, I, there's a lot of space to do it. So there's like, you know, but from the other side, I don't really know. And I, oh, for some reason, I thought it would be okay. But <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Well... How long did that one take to heal up from? I mean, that was fine because it was just the arm. It just wasn't like blood. it wasn't nerve or anything. Yeah. It yeah. seemed like you were hitting nerve, though. Well, we stopped and we yeah. started again, didn't we? <laughs> did we start and stop? Yeah, yeah, yeah we stopped yeah. and we, we found a new hole <laughs> and we tried again. Yeah, but it was bleeding internally, mm. Ball ballooning up, and we had to stop the show and you had to get. Luckily, we had an EMT here. <laughs> Yeah, but he, he said it was fine. Yeah. And it was. But he was a little bit like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. After I was like, my career is over. I just did the most disgusting things. Nothing worked. It was yeah, horrible. There it is. Yeah. So yeah, exactly. exactly. I went You're the going through the way. That's right. That's, that's what, what went is. wrong. Yep. Yeah. Yikes. Yep. And I always go in the other direction. What is the difference, though, if it's the same spot? I don't know. Maybe. Obviously. Yeah, well, I, I think isn't it, it's probably you know how to do it yourself. Well, no, right? but I let like the audience you... do it when they come on stage. I let them oh, really? pick a spot. Yeah, I, I mean, I make sure it's above the break. You know, I make sure yeah. it's not in a dangerous place. But yeah, yeah. How many times <sighs> have you stuck an ice pick through your arm? Oh my, so many and through the hand, mo way more <laughs> thousands <laughs> thousands yes and through both hands i had to stop with my hand because i was getting uh the scar tissue and it was becoming really hard to push the ice oh. but i did i did ct scans i looked at the hand i studied where all the blood vessels are so i i, I thought about it for a long time before i started doing it and then i did it with like acupuncture needle but this is something nobody should do i it, it, no magician nobody because it's just real there's there's it's just not good when things go wrong yeah i would imagine yeah i would imagine that's a real problem <laughs> <laughs> how do you like decide like what you're going to do when with these kind of things like how, what, what makes you come to like i think i'm gonna stick an ice pick through my hand I think that started early on. There was a magician named Harry Anderson that used to do needle through arm, and it was like a fake arm thing, oh. like a, stuck it together, and it looks like it's going through. And I was like that, and I think I was like that could probably really be done. So I think it began with that, and then I heard about a kid that can take a bicycle spoke and put it through, and then I started thinking, well, if you could do that as a trick but have no blood, then it's kind of amazing and what i didn't realize was basically your blood it coagulates when you so based on time so if you push this through again i don't want to give anybody lessons on how to, this stuff is not good to do at all but with time i think when you pull it out you just don't bleed unless you go through the wrong side and hit something but <laughs> yeah but i like those things that it just seem impossible but there's an actual science to it. Who was the guy who would take thin swords and shove them through his lungs? Yeah, Mirandayo. I, I have not done that, and I don't, I'm don't. i never going to do that. Don't one do that. Yeah, He no. died doing that, didn't he? No. So no? what happened? Uh, well, normally he would have a rapier pushed through by a doctor. And um, he he start and he would go he would jog with these rapiers through his body, through his lungs, right through the middle. And I think what happened was he became very overconfident and thought he could do anything and he swallowed a needle like an ice pick size needle 
he swallowed it and thought he was going to like push it through. And when he went to sleep, it was still inside of him and it ruptured his heart. And then he bled out. And oh, God. Yeah. Yeah, I think he started to get so cocky with what his body oh. could do. Yeah. So this is the guy. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Now, it's, how does one do that? I mean, if he's got a... They said a he had tuberculosis, and so the, the way his body recovered it, I, it doesn't... Nobody really knows, but I know scientists and doctors, they all thought it wasn't real. They thought it was a trick, so it took forever for them to even think it oh, was real. Oh, it goes real. sideways. Oh, that's right. I forgot this one. So he's going through his fucking intestines. Yeah, he's, oh, he was, he was the human, the human pincushion. <laughs> and that's a doctor? Boy, that doctor... <laughs> <laughs> what about do no harm, fella? That is so insane. So he's got I mean, it's bandages insane that he could forearms, control. So did it's he go through his arms as well? Is that why he has bandages? <laughs> I don't know. But it's insane that he could control it. Because, you know, obviously when people get stabbed, you and know, they could do it. Now he's going to do an do x-ray? Is that what he's doing? And look at the holes in oh, his he's back. he's got holes all through him. Oh, God, dude. Yeah, it's crazy. That guy's got so many holes in yeah, him. Yeah, it's crazy. The doctors have to examine. Yes, it's a and regular that's a sword. Thick rapier, by the way. Yeah, and then they eat. <laughs> <laughs> and like the water comes out. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, don't do that one. Mm -mm. Never. It, it, yeah, there's. I mean, there's real danger in a lot of the shit you do. Well, I, I, but I I don't just go randomly do things. I start carefully methodically slow i have not magicians surrounding me i have doctors and and i have you know people that are the best in the world that do these things and i, I there's a slow learning curve you just never see it mm. so but that one to me i was like no it's not worth the has risk has anybody else done that other than that guy i don't think so not intentionally <sighs> stick to cards bro <laughs> Cards are amazing. <laughs> Why fuck around with other Cards things? are amazing. They're amazing. They are amazing. They are amazing. Yeah. Sleight of hand. Yeah, yeah. Skills. Like, yeah, yeah. What's well, the, the, the dexterity, the fine mo mobile skills, motor skills of your fingers? It's, it's so impressive. But it makes sense. Like, my left hand is so dumb in comparison to my right hand. Like, if I try to write things with my right hand or try to tie my shoes left-handed, I get one. Actually, you tie your shoes with both fingers. But doing things... It's, one hand is yeah, better, yeah. yeah. Doing things is difficult, like with your left hand. It just... Your brain, somehow or another, doesn't have a really good relationship with your left hand. Yeah, but as a magician, you change that because you have to work with both right. hands equally. So you, you definitely rewire the way your fingers move and the way your pinky moves. 